Welcome to Insights Live, I'm Rebecca Selby, and I'm joined now by Paul Salzgiver, who is the Executive Vice President and General Manager of Epicor's Retail Solutions Group. Hi Paul, thanks for joining us. Ah, how are you doing? Doing well, thank Good. you. How are you enjoying Insight? Ah, I'm having a great time. Customers seem to be uh, learning a lot, uh, having a lot of good conversations uh, and uh, with partners, customers, and it's, it's all good. Anytime you can communicate, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. I'm glad to hear that because the past few years have been pretty challenging for retailers. Absolutely. And I'm wondering, from your perspective, what's the key to surviving and even thriving in the soft economy? I think the key that most retailers would tell you, or businesses in general, is you got to know your customers, you got to know your market, and you have to ensure that you've got the right products uh, for your customers, your customer set, and uh, have the availability so that when they come in and are looking for them, you're able to satisfy them, and uh, they're able to, uh, you know, purchase and acquire and, and move forward. Is that working for the customers you've talked to? I believe so, yeah. I think a lot of our solutions really help them understand the customer demand, uh, the product sets that they're buying, mm -hmm. and uh, ensuring that they've got the inventory where they need it, uh, so that when the customers walk through the door or on their e-commerce channel, they can uh, uh, receive it, and, you know, fulfill that, uh, that customer need. So how is mobility changing the dynamics of retail? Mobility, I think, uh, is doing a lot in a couple of ways. From an operational perspective, it allows the retailers to better understand what's going on within their own businesses, mm -hmm. uh, where things are uh, going well uh, in terms of inventory allocations, uh, operational, how they're doing at registers, and then mobility from a consumer standpoint, mm -hmm. it really enables them to uh, reach out and understand where they've got the product, the types of products they're looking for, so that they can go in, uh, make their selections, mm -hmm. price points, and uh, you know get their uh, purchase completed. And it, it really, uh, they're much more informed as to the, the product, the uh, uh, in terms of the quality uh, and price points. So it, it's, it's, it creates a much more competitive environment in uh, being able to source it. How is Epicor supporting this movement toward mobility in retail? Well, we've got a lot of applications in mobility, and one of our larger customers has got 23,000 oh. uh, 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 pods at the uh, uh, sales associate level, so it really allows the sales associate to be on the floor mm -hmm. to uh, communicate directly with the uh, consumer, mm -hmm. customer, and not be behind a cash wrap. And, uh, it, allows them to do a better job in working with their customers to find the products that they want, and in many cases, ends up with a greater uh, sale. So customers actually end up buying a little bit more than maybe what they uh, first went in there for, and it, it just gives them tremendous flexibility uh, and a much more person-to-person -person, uh, type relationship to, to uh, better assist and fulfill the uh, customer need. And it's all about relationship building, for well, sure. Well, it's all about relationships. It's all about knowing what, who your customer is. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some that are looking at our clienteling application mm -hmm. that really can go into great detail as to what's in your closet. And that, okay, here's what you bought last time you were here. Here's some new styles, some new colors. This is your color pattern. And you know this would also complement and look good in your assortment. And it, it really extends uh, a much more personal relationship than what many of us were accustomed to two, three, five years ago, where they may not even know who you are and uh, or what you have bought in the past. So uh, mobility, if used properly, can really improve that experience uh, for both the consumer and for the retailer. Can you tell me a little bit about omnichannel retailing? Well, omnichannel is uh, a concept whereby, as a consumer, it shouldn't matter if I'm going into the store, the bricks and mortar, as people refer to, if I'm going on your e-commerce. Uh, it's If I am interested in buying a product, I want to be able to uh, buy a product, and I want you as a retailer to be able to fulfill that that need from mm -hmm. wherever source makes sense. So if I can pick it up at the store I'm at, okay. if you don't have it, my size, uh, you have it at the store down the street, I can go pick it up, or you can send it to my home, mm -hmm. you can take it out of a distribution center. Uh, so it's, it's a way in which to ensure that I can close the transaction, I can meet the need of my consumer, and the consumer gets the product 
uh, as quickly uh, as they possibly can so I don't lose the sale. Right. And it's so it's all about you know, customer satisfaction and uh, being able to meet their needs. What challenges do retailers face when they're embarking on that omnichannel strategy? Uh, a lot of the technology, uh, earlier uh, products out there are more uh, in so, uh, silo mm -hmm. design, so there's a lot of integration points. So what we are doing mm -hmm. with our technology is making it a seamless experience mm -hmm. and tying that all together mm -hmm. uh, and, and looking at the source to fulfill you know, the quickest uh, uh, location to be able to provide that product to the consumer and identify it as opposed to having silos. So if I'm at my point of sale, may not know what's in my distribution center, what's on my e-commerce channel, and things like that. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of integration and uh, coordination behind the scenes that have to take place. And you want to make that as seamless and as easy. And from a consumer, they don't want to know anything about it. Right. They just want to know what you have, what your price point is, and can you get it to me. And how quickly. And, and how quickly. <laughs> because if you're like me, I like to go in and when I want to buy something, I want to be able to walk out with it because I'm not known for my patience. And I'm not a great <laughs> shopper, but when I do shop, I, I, to me it's a it's a more fulfilling experience that you know I, I can get what I want and uh, you know I go home and I've got it as opposed to having to wait for the uh, UPS, the FedEx guy or whatever. But, to drop it on your doorstep? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where my wife prefers to buy that, she'll, she'll buy multiple sizes depending on what works best and, then and just she sends them back. Speaking of retailers and especially okay. apparel, the cost of raw goods has skyrocketed. How are retailers handling that? Uh, in the case of our retailers, I would say we haven't seen or heard as much about that because they have been very much uh, involved with uh, offshore manufacturing for many years, mm -hmm. 10 plus years, and they've got those relationships. Mm -hmm. So uh, they really manage that channel through a supply chain mm -hmm. and uh, have done, I think, an exceptional job of understanding uh, some of those uh, price points and understanding uh, what that means. So I, really, I haven't uh, personally had as many communications on uh, from an apparel standpoint that maybe others are talking about because just the, the size and the number of years that they've had those relationships. Well, that makes sense and that's good for them, so. Well, absolutely, it's good for the consumer because mm -hmm. it keeps the prices in line and, uh, you know, that's, that's important for all of us. What are the latest merchandising trends? What are people doing to have the right product in the right place at the right time? Well, it's all about understanding we a consumer, understanding your demand, mm -hmm. and making some of the right decisions as to what you think is going to happen uh, with your styles and you know what the trends are going to be. So they mm -hmm. spend a lot of time analyzing the data and really looking at uh, how customers, what they're buying, colors, assortments, and it's all about allocation planning to ensure that you've got those goods there, so that when that demand curve comes, you know you're able to fulfill it and um, look at it. So as we uh, use our uh, analytics, mm -hmm. our mobile, and tie all that data together, uh, it, it really kind of helps them uh, do a better job of ensuring product availability. Paul, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. I appreciate it. You're welcome. If you have any questions about the things that Paul's discussed here today, don't hesitate to visit epicor.com.